Hi everyone and welcome to Swift Challenges 2020 and what a challenging year it's been so far. Anyway, let's get to it. We're going to, the first challenge is to install Xcode 12. As you've heard, it's been released. So let's figure out how to do that. Uh, hopefully if anything pops up and is a trouble, hopefully you can learn from this and it'll help you out. So let's have a look at how to download Xcode 12. Okay, just type in Xcode 12 is probably your best bet. All right, so you go to Xcode 12 is now available. That's the first link. And learn more about Xcode 12. If we go down, now Big Sur, this might be my downfall here. I'm on Catalina. So let's see if it works on Catalina. That's my first thing I'd like to check out. Be pretty cool. Probably not all of the features work. All right, so I've logged in already. Uh, you might have to create a developer account. If you don't know how to do that, maybe check out another video, have a look, look around. It's pretty easy to set up an account. Just go to applications and then just press download on Xcode 12 beta. All right, now we could look at the release notes and maybe we'll find out if we do need Big Sur installed. Nothing, so let's uh, let that download. It's quite a big file, nine gig. So that's gonna take 30 minutes. I'm going to pause the video and come back later so you don't have to watch that. <laughs> anyway, have a good one, bye. So just to backtrack a little bit, I'm just signing in and I've created an account with an Apple ID, which you can create, uh, let's say, uh, create Apple ID. So this is how you can get a, like a free uh, developer account. So how to create a new Apple ID, just go there. can do it on your phone, on your device, uh, or on your computer. So open the App Store, click Sign In. You can do it there, or on PC. So yeah, just, just go in here, follow the steps. And once you're in, you've signed in, uh, you can go to Download Tools. And there's Xcode 12 beta, you can uh, download it there. Um, the other video, just before in the video, I was in my paid developer account. Now this is a free, um, this is just with a Apple ID I've signed in. Uh, so it's, you can build your own apps and install them on your phone and, and check them out. It's pretty fun. And once you think you've got something that as a hit and will make you tons of money on the app store, then you'll have to sign up and pay uh, for your app, Apple developer account. And then you can actually release it on the app store. Anyway, that's a just little side note. All right, let's get back to, to installing Xcode 12. Now I've downloaded it. It took about 30 minutes. Um, <laughs> oh, I just realized now it's a zip file. So uh, here it is here. Actually, I'll just get rid of that. And you've got to unzip it as well. And that takes a little bit of time as well. So I'll pause here and come back soon. All right, so I've already extracted it. It extracted into the same folder as the downloads. And then I just dragged it into my applications folder and I've opened it. Uh, and it's just installing components now. It'll pop up with this. Uh, this may take you know five minutes or so so another little wait but it'll be worth it see you soon now it only took a minute for it to finish that indexing but there's a problem here it won't load the preview um, so what you can do is there's a quick key it's uh, option command p i should rebuild it but it doesn't seem to want to all right, so no active scheme error. Okay, so I haven't come across this before. All right, something's happened. I'm gonna reboot this project and see if that fixes it. No, 
Let's close Xcode beta altogether. Seems to be frozen. Here we go. Starting it again. Now I clicked on that project. I also have like Xcode 11.5. It seemed to open the beta software automatically, um, but you might have to check that. There we go and resume. All right, so if you come across that, that's a little error uh, for no apparent reason. Uh, it might be because I'm running Catalina. Um, could be anything really. You will come across bugs here and there. And the Swift UI preview is, the first time it runs is quite slow, I've found, but once you get into it, it's quite quick. All right, there we go. So the Swift UI preview is has booted up. I'm just going to add a button for fun. Now you can add it into the actual code or into your preview. And our action will be a function. Run this. All right. Whoops. I made it a fun. It's not a function. Dot. Run this. There we go. Content will be, so this will be the label for the button. Let's see. All right, now it doesn't want to do that. Okay. Look. Um, hmm. This is how I've done it before, but it doesn't seem to like it. What if I get rid of that? All right, there we go. Build succeeded. All right, so accept the button. Oh, there it is. So I just had to move it a little bit. All right, now uh, I've added the button. Uh, usually you have to put the function behind it there, but text hit me. Yep, and with the preview, here we go. So um, this has changed a little bit. Uh, you can run the software with a live preview up the top here. Uh, let's do that. All right, and now I should be able to hit that button. There we go. Now it's not doing anything, so let's uh, make it do something. All right, and that will, it, Update. Is it updated? All right, now it's not printing to terminal. And then you can preview on a device as well. I'm going to try it out. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Let's stop that and run it again. Oh yeah, there's a trick. How do you get it to print to the debugger? There is a way. I'll just run this on a device. This code will work. All right, so I'm gonna try this uh, debug preview. Let's run it. And I'm probably gonna have to pause it because it does, uh, either it'll freeze or it won't work for me at the moment. Yeah, it's just on a continuous sort of spin. I have no idea why. So I'm just gonna stop that. And I'm gonna run this in uh, the other Xcode just to show you that I'm not, you know, going crazy. Code does work. And what we do is open the project and right click on it. Now, cause I've updated everything, I have to do this to projects if I wanna run things in debugger for now. You know, you've just gotta carry on with what you can do and and that's a good way to code like try not to get over obsessed with things and hopefully this helps someone and you can continue on just don't do debugging yet um it'll get fixed soon enough they're pretty quick at fixing these things there'll be an update um all right so now what i have to do because i'm in 11.5 
So to go to the Xcode project file at the top on the left hand side here and uh, where is it? It should show me the project details. It's uh, try it again. There we go. kind of strange I've got to double click on it okay and then set that to I'll set it to 11 point or 13 point5 and then that's why there's no devices up there and now if I go back to content view and I'll set I usually run 8 plus that's the phone I have. Oh, that's really weird, you have to double click on things. Okay, usually you just have to click on each file. Uh, probably a restart would be good at this point. It seems like there's some sort of conflict. So here's the preview. So you right click on this and do debug preview. Hopefully we don't get an indefinite spiral down here. So here's another error I'm getting. It's saying to reconnect the device. So I'm just going to change it to another one. See if that helps. And resume it. Well, nothing seems to be working so far, but I finally got this to work. And uh, this is in... Xcode 11.5. I had to restart Xcode and then resume it. it. Just took a while. Another thing I did is I deleted all the derived data. Um, maybe that helps. So I went preferences and in here I uh, went to this folder inside derived data and just inside there just emptied it out. Um, I'll see, if there's those two I'm working on at the moment. Um, hmm. Anyway, um, so that's 11.5, and uh, but for Xcode 12, it does work in the simulator. Um, there's probably other things that work, so let's work on those things that are working and come back to this another time. Uh, so, that, yep, and please comment below once again if you find any solutions to this. Thank you. Bye.